right, I'm on my way back to the uh, water treatment plant where I've been finding all these really cool birds. And yesterday I found a whole bunch of snail kites, but the uh, weather wasn't that good. It was really overcast, so it was hard to get some really good shots. This morning though, it's very, very, very clear. I don't even see any clouds. And it's about five till seven. So if I hurry up, I might be able to get to this back pond where they are and get some really good shots of them while they're catching snails in the morning. So I'm trying to get just the snail kites, but every time I've gone here in search of just one species of bird, I end up seeing dozens of things. So who knows what'll happen. Sun's just coming up. And in Florida early in the morning, there's always these really cool fog banks. Stay off the moors. Stay off the moors. You ever seen American Werewolf in London? Oh man, that looks like I'm going right in this stuff. All right, I'm here. And man, does it look nice. Look, there's a cormorant out there in that lake where all the big gators are. Should be some great, great opportunities for photos. A whole bunch of little birds, look at them. I think they're swifts flying over the water. I'll see if I can get some pictures. They're really fast. I said these little birds were swifts. I was wrong. They're swallows. I'm not sure of the exact species. If you happen to know, you could leave a comment. That would be cool. Anyways, here's a really good picture of them. They move really, really fast, and they're very, very difficult to uh, take pictures of. There's a spoonbill right down here, and the way he's positioned in this pond should make for some really good pictures. Hopefully I can grab one. I decided to grab some video footage instead. Look at that bird. It's completely crazy looking. Looks like some kind of weird dinosaur. Wow. I did get one cool shot of the spoonbill as he flew over top of me. The sunlight came in through his feathers and really highlighted him really good. You can see lots of detail. I keep saying you never know what you're going to find when you're out here. Check this out. I found two lens cleaning wipes. And they're good ones. See this do not enter sign? I think it's there because safety. Like I think there's a beehive down here. Hopefully I don't get attacked. I'm gonna set my little GoPro here by this piece of wood and leave it. Now I want to see. I think there is a beehive under there. What do you think? Hopefully I don't get attacked by an otter. They're everywhere. Otter right down here in these bushes and the cattails. Where did he go? freaked me out. I was over here taking pictures and all of a sudden all the cattails started moving. I wonder what he's looking for. Maybe crawfish? Because he's shaking them all. Here he comes again. You know, the only downside to being out here, there's no bathrooms. Just gotta kinda go with the flow. I think I had too much coffee this morning. Oh, it's like that Austin Powers movie. It's never ending. I'm just kidding. Back and so are the snail kites. I just saw 
saw one pull an apple snail out of the water. So let me get to my place where I was yesterday. Maybe I can get some better shots. There's another one coming this way. In this first set of images, the snail kite flies over, spots a snail, drops down into the water and pulls it out, and then flies right by for a nice profile shot. Got some weeds there too with that snail. Next up is a male snail kite. He almost looks like a pigeon. He grabs a snail out of the water, heads over to this tree to eat it. As I'm taking this shot, a great blue heron decides to crash the party. And look at that, he's got a bluegill. And believe it or not, they actually use their beak to spear the fish. It goes through the fish and then they just carry it around. It's incredible. Here's a close-up of that same shot. And if you look, you can see the bottom beak going all the way through that poor bluegill. Right after that, an osprey flies overhead and I get a nice shot. How about a nice profile shot? Which looks better, the left or the right? And now it's time for the close-up. Look at that beak. That's how they get the snail out of the shell. Look how far the snail kite actually goes in the water to get that snail. This all happens in like the blink of an eye. Then it gets the snail out, flies by, and as it's flying, it reaches back with its beak and pulls it out of its talons and then flies away with the snail in its mouth. It's incredible. And another dip into the pond to grab a snail. I really like this picture. The reflection is pretty cool. And another successful catch and another flyby. These birds just never stopped performing. Looks like he's walking on water. Here's a shot right before it drops into the water. Talons ready. And of course, another successful catch. At one point, I counted nine snail kites at once. And when all of these snail kites are competing for the same type of food, there's going to be a problem. This female or juvenile snail kite spots a snail. A different snail kite has also spotted the same snail. The snail kite in the front has no idea what's going to happen. The first snail kite drops out of the sky and tries to grab the snail with its feet. It can't reach it with its feet, so it's got to stick its head all the way underwater to grab the snail. And look what happens. The other snail kite comes up right behind him. And when the first snail kite pops up, the second one is right behind it, ready to grab it by the head with its talons. That was an incredible moment. And I was lucky enough to be there to capture it with my camera. I'm going to leave this video with some more of my favorite shots of these snail kites doing their thing. There are high-res versions of all of these pictures available at my website, msmithphotos.com. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. And while you're at it, send me a pizza or a cheeseburger. Hey, I like chocolate too. See ya.